In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the best way to loot blitz post patch Madden 23. And we're going to be taking a look at the 46 playbook. We're going to be focusing in on the dollar formation. If you want to get my entire dollar 3 2 defense, we have three different editions of it in our Patreon. We're actually revamping it completely. We've been dropping several updates over the last couple of weeks to that defensive ebook as well. So if you're not a Patreon member yet, it's only $10 to become a Patreon member and it gets you access to all of our Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates uh, to those ebooks. Now, um, what we're gonna show you today is this kind of new concept for utilizing loop pressure. And we're gonna kind of explain one of the biggest things um, that is actually going to affect your loop pressure post patch. It's actually something really subtle, uh, but super excited to break this down. Now, uh, with your coaching adjustments, you can run this defense on baseline, you can run it on man line, you can run it on standard default, it doesn't matter. Um, but what we're gonna be utilizing is the play spinner. And and it is really important that we utilize the play spinner, all right? Now the setup for this loop blitz is very simple. All we're gonna do is we're going to spread our D-line, we're gonna QB contain, and then we're just gonna move this guy just a step so that he is on the contain. And then from there, what I like to do is man up the tight end. Maybe you wanna press and then back off your outside corners. I think backed off man coverage is really the way to go right now. So if you're not utilizing backed off coverage, I would really recommend it. And then what I would recommend also is manually re-blitzing that left of screen defensive end. You're going to do that by double tapping the left left on the D-pad, selecting the icon of that defensive end, and flicking your right joystick down to put him on a blitz. And then I also like to deep blue my user. What you're going to notice is you are going to get pretty reliable edge pressure off of uh, that left side of the screen. Now, the other thing that is going to happen for you is typically, depending on the route combo, sometimes they bump into each other this year. Uh, we probably all know that by now, but depending on the route combo, you should get pretty decent pressure uh, off of this right side. You see how we got that nice little loop, quick, quick loop pressure off of the right side of the screen. Now, this is actually super reliable against Bunch, but I'm gonna show you one of the biggest problems with this loop blitz in just a second, and that is the fact that the meta is, is not actually Bunch, right? We know that the meta this year is tight, which we're gonna to get to in just a second. Now, we do still see some Bunch, and when you do see some Bunch, this loop blitz off the right side is really, really, really effective. But let me jump in a couple other meta formations. The first one we're gonna jump into is U-Trips. U-Trips uh, is very similar to Bunch, just in terms of how uh, the formation works and so we'll show you how to run the loop blitz against uh, U trips real quick let me see if I can find um, a good route here so we'll just do it against something like this uh, but the play is spinner again QB contain and again against U trips you might have to you know you might have to baseline uh, if you base the line you typically don't have to spread your line they're gonna automatically do that for you but just walk this guy in off the edge and then uh, you can always back off these corners. I think backing off these corners is really helpful. Um, but anyway, so you see here, again, you have this setup just like this, and oftentimes you're going to loop around the edge, and then you're gonna have some form of edge pressure coming off of the backside. Now you can run this if you wanted to, you can actually run this where you only send four. So if you only wanna send like the loop and you don't wanna send the edge pressure, that's fine, we can utilize this guy and coverage onto uh, the running back or whatever, you know, and then, and then you're now sending just a four man. And as you can see, pretty consistent loop pressure. So really good against U-trips, really, really, uh, actually just very effective against any formation that has a tight end that is on the line of scrimmage like that. But when you go to a formation, let's say for example, uh, like gun tight slots, uh, which is pretty meta, tight slots halfback weak is a little, is similar to this. Um, you're going to notice that when you go into these compressed formations, this, if I try to spread my line and then I did my QB contain right, maybe I, I press, you know, and then I, you know, re-blitz this guy, right? Because I'm running edge pressure off one side and looping off the other side. You're going to notice that on that left side, it doesn't really work properly. And this is why so many people are struggling to get their loop blitzes to work properly against tight. So what I recommend doing, if you want to get your loop blitz to work better against tight, all you have to do, it's actually real subtle. We're going to uh, show blitz, QB contain, or I'm sorry, we're just gonna uh, show blitz and that's just gonna bring these guys down. We're gonna spread our D line, QB contain, and then you're going to crash your line down. The crashing of your line down is really the key uh, ingredient for getting this loop blitz to work properly off of this left side edge. And you're going to get that right side edge pressure as well when you do uh, when you do that crash. So again, all we're doing is we're QB containing 
and then I'm crashing my line down. You can kind of tinker with who you want a user, but typically you're gonna get that loop pressure off of that left side, and then you can get some edge pressure off of the right side. So this is truly the secret, if you will, um, uh, to running the Loop Blitz post-patch. Um, there's a little bit more detail to this that we do go into into the Patreon. So if you wanna get access to, again, the entire defensive ebook, make sure that you're a Patreon member. It's only $10 to sign up for that. And you can head down to the description below and uh, click the link down below to become a Patreon member.